Good morning. It is my day off. Apparently I like to do videos on my days off, but I'm not running them up. Um, I just dropped off my kiddo. I spent the morning, I read my personal development, the compound effect. I'm actually really sad because I only have about four more pages left until I'm finished with the book. Um, and it's freaking amazing. So if you're looking for a good read and something that's going to make you like dream crazy and put things in perspective and do certain things with your life that you know need to be done but you don't know what read the compound effect for sure anyways so I did that and then I did my workout of the day which was body beast cardio and boy did I work up a sweat I tried doing laundry afterwards bending over while squatting over and my inner thighs were screaming at me um but that was a good scream so now I'm gonna go home my girlfriend Blair is uh, coming over and she's gonna rummage through my clothes we're going to Dallas next weekend not like you haven't heard me talk about this before um and so she's gonna check to see if I have anything that she would like to borrow um I'm going to go home and try to put away an abundance of laundry and um you all know that i have a hate hate relationship with laundry i love to have clean clothes but i hate putting away laundry um and then i'm going to pack because today is my last free day as you would say um before i go on vacation because this weekend is jam-packed with birthday parties and halloween parties and we're having a sleepover at our house saturday night and it's just going to be crazy so going to be packing today and um I still am a packing maniac I'm want to go shopping today to find a floral skirt of sorts I have something in my mind that uh um, I want but we'll see if I find it and then I have what is huge I have a call today with the Beachbody Re Regional Sales Manager, Keyshawn Graves. Oh my gosh, she is freaking amazing. I met her at the Super Saturday um, not too long ago in Redmond that we had for Beachbody. And first of all, she's awesome. She has like the best attitude and best personality. She's so sweet. She's, she's so uplifting. And she messaged me yesterday telling, her, telling me that I, m I made a huge impression on her and uh, she would like to chat with me so it's kind of a big freaking deal and it makes me super excited and nervous all at the same time but anything new kind of does that right so I'm excited to t be able to talk to her and then I have um, my new I oh my gosh I didn't even tell you guys this so I signed up for Shailene Johnson's um, smart success program I, well it's like an online academy this I'm super, super pumped. If you guys ever read or watched or anything Shailene Johnson, she is so amazing, so inspiring, so motivating. She is just incredible. And um, this was a huge chunk of change that I've never spent this much money on anything besides like a car or something. But, uh, it's a huge leap of faith that I'm taking and I'm jumping and I'm growing wings as I go so I'm excited and it starts today well one of the videos goes live today it actually starts on Monday but um so I have a busy busy day ahead of me and I'm hoping to get it all done one thing I want to work on is organization work well well number two I'd like to work on how to say that but organization um I need to simplify things I think and I'm not sure where to start I have so much stuff that I just need someone to come into my house and be like you don't need this you don't need this here put this here this and this and then that's that and then afterwards I'll listen and I won't do anything ever again to move anything or but that's not reality the reality is I got to do it myself and I got to take control and I got to figure out what works for me and stop being disorganized so, big day. It's 8 o'clock in the morning. I can get it all done because I know I can. 
Hey guys, um, so I am leaving my house to go shop. I need that floral skirt that I was talking about. And um, I am so freaking pumped up right now. Like you have no idea. Um, like my heart's about to jump out of my chest. So I got off the phone with Keyshawn Graves, who I mentioned before. And um, wow, there's a lot of grass in my car. From the pumpkin patch, I'm guessing. Um, so she called me, and I, I'm just so ecstatic. I'm putting you down so I can put my seatbelt on. Don't look at my nose. Um, so we talked about my team and what beach body means to me and my family, and how I want to bring my husband home, and who or what goals my coaches have and how I can help them and she wants to help me help my team and I am just so excited she has said things to me and got me so pumped up we're gonna start having recurring calls every other week and I am just so excited I'm so excited for my team and my coaches and I cannot say I'm excited one more time or I'm gonna go crazy but oh my gosh I'm excited you know when you talk to somebody and they just they just have this energy that trans transfers to you and gets you all pumped up and excited and you get that and you want to share it with others that's what I'm totally doing right now so every single person that's gonna walk out of Target after I leave is going to feel that energy that is steaming off of me I'm just kidding no I'm not kidding I'm being 110% serious um just the possibilities of life like do you ever think do you ever sit there and like okay so when I was working in Kirkland and uh, at Bright Horizons as a preschool and I used to dream about living there I loved Kirkland they had the best parks they had the most gorgeous houses these houses were amazing and the views they had it was so incredible so watching Shailene Johnson's video the other day how she used to drive by this lot of land and how she would just dream that this house her imaginary house would be built on this land well anyways her imaginary house was built on this land so the reason for me to share that with you guys because I used to kind of do that I didn't imagine a land or anything but I would imagine myself living in these homes and I'm like how is that possible how is something like this possible and I never fathomed to think what it took to live in these homes when I worked at Bright Horizons and I don't know if I'm gonna get sued for sharing this with you guys but um tuition for one month for one kid was like 1850 $1,850. There was kids there that had siblings, okay? There was other kids there that had two siblings. So that's like almost six grand in tuition a month for preschool. Then they live in these immaculate homes. So as I sat there making like 12 bucks an hour, I think, I would just dream of how you work so hard are you away from your family to make this kind of money to live in these homes to be able to pay for the best schooling for your kids like I didn't get it I didn't understand how it was possible like yeah Microsoft is a good company but do you really make that much money that you're able to spend it and then go to Hawaii all the time and go to Mexico and Cabo San Lucas and all these places that normal people only dream about or not normal but average people only dream about well after becoming a part of Beachbody and just what it is and what can happen you know your dreams are turning into reality as long as you work it as long as you believe anything can happen I I am not a money driven person I mean if you've ever seen any of my videos I whatever it's not about that it's just about the life the life that you can have the life of where you don't struggle where you 
where you can be fine paying doctor's bills after fixing your furnace, after paying your kid's tuition and getting him braces or whatever. Like, these are all things that happen in everybody's life. And a lot of the times, we don't have enough money in savings to be able to afford a new furnace. And I say that because that happened to us last year and we had to borrow money. And I don't want to start crying, but I'm just, I want to have everybody that I love to be able to not have to borrow a dime. Could you imagine what your life would be like if every month you don't have to borrow anything? If people come to you and you're happy to give it to them because you can afford it, like Oprah, I mean, I'm not going to say none of us are going to be like Oprah, but that one season where she she was like, oh yeah, everybody on stage, all 11 of you, you, you get a free car. Everyone gets a free car. Crowd goes wild. And then she's like, okay, everyone in the audience opens a box and whoever has a key gets the 12th car. Well, everyone in the audience had a car or a key. So everyone in the audience got a car. You know, I'm not saying that it couldn't happen, but just these incredibly amazing dreams and goals and where you can go and what you can do if only you choose to believe that you can. I'm sorry that I'm rambling and I'm getting emotional like I always do. But it's just, it's so exciting to me that the, what you would think would be the impossible could actually be the possible. I don't know what you guys all do as a day job, as living, but everybody is struggling financially. I mean, there's somewhere in your life, well, maybe not, maybe not. Maybe you're one of those few that have never struggled, never been on food stamps, never have been on state assistance, never been on holding your breath in line to make sure your debit card goes through. Maybe that's never happened to you. But I have a good feeling that a lot of us know what that like, what that's like. I mean, I do. And just the fact that these dreams are these, not even dreams, but these accomplishments that people are making every day are being dangled in front of my face and the opportunity is there. Why are people so scared to take it? Why, why is it such a scary thing to want to do that jump? I don't know. But I'm done. I'm done with the waiting. I'm done with the excuse making. I am going to let my heart and my dreams and my family push me off the ledge. And I'm going to make that jump. And I'm going to help others make that jump. Because that's what life is about. Life is about living. And it's about being happy. And it's about being extraordinary and not normal. And thinking up outside the box. And not being content or settling where you're at. I should maybe become a motivational speaker. <laughs> Only when I'm bummed up though. Yeah. I'm going to take this energy and go inside. I had no luck at Target. They had a couple of cute floral ones on the clearance rack, but um, they weren't my style, basically. Um, so I am going to hustle muscle to the next store. That's the only other clothing store we have in Marysville. Um, and I have an hour to get this done, get home, eat lunch, and be prepared for Shailene Johnson's call. But I can do this. And I was able to put away all my clothes and I folded them. My husband's gonna be so excited. <clears throat> I sing sometimes. <laughs> Not the best either. Ah, so, anyways. So, as I'm thinking, as I'm t telling you guys, as I'm actually talking to my camera and then you're going to be watching later on, um, 
why is it so hard for people to do what they want to do? One of my one of my coaches, she's still a coach. Um, she was in a challenge group before, and she really wasn't she wasn't there yet. She wasn't she wasn't ready. Well, she didn't give it her all, so she pulled away. And then later on, she wanted to be in another challenge group. She was ready. She had the mindset. She had the head on her shoulder. She was ready. Something changed. And then she wanted to become a coach. Well, she found out that her passion is helping people. Her passion is people. And while it's not being a beach body coach, which is completely fine, but now she has this passion and she's going to go to school and I'm so freaking proud of her. And she's going to open up a clinic and do all this exciting stuff. And yeah, it's going to take her a long time, but she's going to do it. She's one of the few people I know that is actually going for her dreams. Actually doing something that you've changed your mind and you know it's going to be work and labor and time consuming. But what you're going to get out of it is going to be so much sweeter and so much greater than anything you thought possible. Why isn't more people like that? There's people that are beach body coaches that grab the opportunity by the horns and just runs with it. I mean, my mentors, uh, for one, they all had this opportunity. Some took advantage of it right away and went for it. Others, it took a while for them to get through. I mean, even Mindy Wender, who is freaking amazing, stay-at-home mom of two kids, married, has a beautiful home. She became a coach, and she didn't take off right away. She didn't, she didn't follow the steps. She didn't follow through which, what she was supposed to do. But when she did, when she realized what could be just by helping people. It was this enormous awakening for her and now look at her. I mean, she's making like $20,000 a week. A week. Why don't more people go out and pursue their dreams? Is it because we're afraid of failure? Or afraid of the work that has to be put into it? Or that it's time consuming? Or that it's going to take away from our habits that we have created for ourselves right now? I mean, I guess that goes along with weight loss journey in itself. Because when I first started, I was afraid that my workout time would cut into my TV time. I'll be honest. And that I would have to give up certain things, which I didn't for the longest time, like Diet Dr. Pepper. That was in my refrigerator every day until, you know, three, four months into Beach Body. There's just certain things we don't allow for ourselves. And I don't understand that. I mean, I mean, I do understand it because I've lived it and I live it and, you know, it's life. But why, why do we have such doubt? Is it like the way that we were brought up? Is it the environment? Is it... Because realistically, you can do anything that you want to do. You just have to... have to want to do it. Okay. I'm <laughs> getting off this kick right now. I don't know where it's taking me. But, uh... I'm gonna park and go into the next door. So I just got done watching Shailene Johnson's live um, broadcast about partnership and whatnot. Um, I have someone staring at me and it's funny because I'm talking to myself. Well, I'm not talking to myself, I'm talking to you guys. But anyways, so I'm driving because I was going to go to Forever 21 to find this so-called floral skirt that I have in my head that I would like to wear. But then something hit me and I think it was Shailene Johnson I'm blaming you it was 
this moment of clarity where I realized what I've wanted to do for so long is simplify. And today as I'm putting away clothes and going through stuff, I'm like, okay, I've worn this once. So I've never worn this. There's like probably 20 things in my closet that I've either never worn, still have a tag on, or I've only worn once. So why do I need to go buy another skirt when I'm just probably going to wear it once? So I'm driving and I'm driving to Forever 21 and I'm like, I have skirts. I have clothes to wear. I don't need I don't need to go to Forever 21. This is really weird. It's an eye opener for me because I'm a shopaholic. I like to shop. So for me to turn down shopping, it's kind of crazy. But now, so I'm going to go pick up a few groceries and I think I'm going to go pick up my kiddos from school early. So I went to pick up my son early and we went to, to get gas and we decorated. Oh, let me show you. My son had a genius idea that we should decorate for Halloween, which we should. I mean, hello. He's like his mom keeping me in check, decorating for themes and such. So let me show you what we did. Ow, you're stepping on my toe. Okay. See, this is our super cool beware Urgh, super scary and then we have these lights and some bones and some super scary guy yep that's about the extent of our decorating next year he'll be five and a half and he'll be it'll be more scary but for now yes bob Oh, and here's me, <laughs> and my dinosaur shirt. Your Star Wars shirt, not dinosaur. So now I'm sitting here in a big dilemma. So this is my Dallas packing so far. I'm only going to be there for three days, and they have one, two, three, four, five, six, six outfits. Do you think I'm overpacking? I don't know. I'm sure I could just bring them all and then I could try to wear, if I don't want to wear a certain thing, I don't have to, right? Check out this bag though. Isn't that fabulous? I got out shopping while I was with Allison today. I mean, not today, but the other day. And um, Blair, when she came over today, she's like, of course you have a sparkly bag. I didn't get what she meant, but apparently, I'm like, what? It's not pink. I mean, look at everything else of mine is pink, but that's not pink. So, I'm excited for the rest of the day. We're going to have pulled pork, brown rice, and steamed green beans. Pulled pork smells delicious, and I have a couple training calls tonight. And then, family time. So, happy boys! Say bye, Gage. Bye, Gage.